In this tutorial, I will show you how you can send email in PHP using built-in PHP mail function from the local server. So to do the task, you have to configure uh, two files. So first of all, I will open the php.inf file to uh, show you where you need to change in the content of the file. So I will open it from here and uh, go to the SMTP section, find SMTP. This is our SMTP section and I will configure the Windows part for sending email using mail function. So, so you, here we can see two parts uh, for sending email for Windows 32 only and another for Unix only. I will change uh, this part here. You can see that uh, SMTP is local host, SMTP port 25 and send mail and uh, there will be a valid email address. Uh, I will not uh, change it anywhere here. Uh, so if any line is, uh, a semicolon is missing in any line, suppose uh, before the SMTP, SMTP port, just commenting this line by using semicolon. So I use semicolon here, semicolon here, and say mail from. And uh, I will add the lines uh, from the tutorial for the PHP INI file, step one. Okay, I will just add it here. Here, uh, SMTP will be smtp.gmail.com because I'm using the uh, free SMTP server of uh, Gmail account and the uh, port is 585. Uh, in the same mail from section, you can use any valid email address. And uh, this path, same mail path, it uh, must be valid path. Uh, if you check the if you check the jam folder, then you can find the same mail folder. And under the same mail folder, you have the application same mail dot exe. And uh, this file is used here for sending email from local server. And another attribute, uh, mail add, etc., must be on. And if you add these lines in uh, directly in this file here, then must comment the other person. Uh, that means SMTP local host, SMTP 25. You must comment in it by using semicolon. And save the file. And uh, next file is, uh, if you go to the future, is. Um, uh, same mail dot ini file which is under this location that i have already shown you here and this file is this one same mail dot uh, same mail dot ini so open this file and search for smtp server smtp server and file Uh, here you will find this uh, well, SMTP and here must be the smtp.gmail.com that I have already used in PHP the INF file and default port number is 25 and that must be uh, 587 that is uh, given in the tutorial so I will just copy this line and uh, if this line is not uh, off then make, uh, make it off by using semicolon and here must use semicolon and uh, SMTP is a slot and it must be off uh, by using semicolon if you copy uh, all these lines together here. So I will copy it here. The SMTP server is smtpgmail.com port number 587 and SSL is TLS and these uh, lines are already set here. Uh, you can use here or make it off here. But I, do, I don't need to on it here because I have already uh, used these lines here. And this is the most important part of uh, sending email. Uh, auth, auth username and auth password. Here uh, you have to say the valid email address and uh, here uh, the password of this email address. And another point uh, I have to mention that is uh, 
the Gmail address that you have used here and for the DECA on your list secure app option must be on uh, where you can find it go to your Gmail account and uh, uh, type the search box list secure app access then this page will appear and you have to make this one uh, if it is off then make this one on to send you know using your gmail account without making it on your email will not be seen from the local server and um, another point if uh, twister verification is on in your account then uh, this uh, option cannot be on so uh, you have to off the twister verification and then make this option on to send email using local host or local server okay and uh, after making the change save the file and go to your jam server and restart the server to um, make effect of the change in this section uh, this is the first simple script to send it in the code copy the file here uh, email is saying to uh, this address you can uh, use any valid email address here you can uh, change this one and uh, keep your own email address to check the email is uh, saying or not and this is the email subject this is the message body or email body and this is the header section uh, you can just type any email address or just uh, format it where that uh, admin will be displaying the uh, sender name and this is the sender email address and this is the main function mail that will send the email so first parameter is to the uh, receiver email address this is the subject this is the email body and this is the header section that is defined here and if the email is sent properly then this message will appear in the browser otherwise it will print unable to send the email okay i uh, have to save the file So I will uh, make a folder here, main, okay now I will check uh, the email is, uh, main function is working or not, so go to the browser. Diamond of the issue here, uh, you have to wait a little bit. You will see in a second. I have uh, used uh, this email address for testing the script, and this is the help email. And uh, here you can see the email is appearing. Sending email using mail function. And uh, the next example is showing how you can say it's human format of email. Get another skip with the score. Okay, here, you order uh, uh, the subject of the email will be your order is submitted successfully, and this is the message body where HTML tags are used, and uh, this is the head section. And um, here, uh, four types of header information is added here to, from and uh, content type that is uh, html uh, content and my tag and uh, this is our uh, useful carry written uh, with each header okay now i will grab the file name into dot hv okay and again i will check Now I can uh, check here. Email is appeared here. The order is submitted successfully, and these are the HTML formatted In the same way, now I will check the third example of this tutorial. 
animal with attachment uh, and for this uh, you have to create any attachment file uh, uh, to pick the attachment is working or not and uh, here the file name is release.txt so I will uh, first uh, create a file with this name I will save it in the same location. File name is to the list of Okay, now I can press the script. Here, uh, receive email address is the same. This is the email subject, and this is the attachment file name. And uh, here, file get content of PHP built-in function is used to read the full content of the file and store it in the variable content. And next, it is uh, encoded using base64 encoder. And uh, separator is uh, required. A random hash number uh, is used for as a separator and which will be used at the time of sending the file content as the message body so here another uh, configuration types are used content type transfer encoding system b and uh, this will be attached with the attachment file the text file is attached with the email and another configuration is stream name will be the file name that is stored here and uh, encoded using base 64 and it is, will be attached as the attachment file and this is the main content of the file and uh, the separator is used uh, each each header starting and ending in this way okay and then this is the header information from whom the email will be sent and uh, reply to each email address now i will save the file and check the attachment is attached properly or not. Okay. I will go here and check the script and files are in the same location or not. This is our script and this is the text file. Now I will click on the script. this message appeared that means the invoice sent and if i check here you can see the file is appeared here with the text file and this is it is the content of the text file in this way you can uh, send any formatted or email or email with attachment file using php built-in main function from the thank you for watching